Hello, Virgo. This is your October 2018 tarot reading, and I will do an astrological spread. So you can fast forward to somewhere around three and a half minutes if you want to go directly to the reading. So let's get right into it. Let's start off with house one. House one, house two, dealing with your finances, house three, communication, house four, home and family, house five, fun, creativity, house six, let's see, let me just push this over, okay, house six, dealing with your daily routine and your health, house seven, partnerships, house eight, transformation, house nine, long distance travel, among other things, house 10, career, oh, you can't see it, house 10, career, okay, house 11, friendships, and house 12, Secrets and Spirituality. Now, I'm going to pull one oracle card. And this is going to be your overall message for this month. So this card should tie in the spread. All right. So, all right. So let's get right into finding out what the cards have in store. Now, remember, house one deals with how people view you. Okay, so you have the wisdom card, Virgo. So people view you as someone who is full of wisdom. That's really great. Let's look at house two. House two deals with your finances. You are going through a major transformation when it comes to to dealing with your finances, Virgo, okay? So keep a close eye on your finances this month. Let's look at house three. House three deals with communication. It also deals with technology. So you're feeling a sense of conflict and maybe a little bit defeat of defeat, some of you Virgos out there, when it comes to house three topics. Let's keep moving on. Let's look at house four. House four deals with your home and your family life. So, and you have the heart chakra card. This tells me that your home and family life is going to be full of love this month. Let's look at house five. House five deals with fun. It deals with creativity, romance, even kids. So you have the accelerated motion card. This is also known as the eight of wands in the traditional tarot deck. So everything is looking good in that area of your life. Now let's look at house six. House six deals with your health. It deals with your vitality. It also deals with your daily routine. So in this area of your life, you are feeling very patient and you are also in a planning mode. Okay. Now let's see what's going on with your partnership. As far as your partnerships are concerned, you have the solar plexus chakra card. This is saying that you are following your gut. Okay. Now, if there's something that your gut is telling you, just follow that hunch. Okay. Now, when it comes to your partnerships, let's look at house eight. You have the universe card. Just focus again. Okay. You have the universe card. So everything is going great as far as your transformation, as far as you dealing with other people's resources and your shared resources. Everything is looking great. Now, house nine, you have the sacral chakra card. So a lot of you out there, a lot of you Virgos out there, you might have a desire to travel long distances. You might have a desire to take care of legal matters or um, enroll in a higher education course. The sacral chakra is dealing with what you want. Okay. So it's something dealing with one of those topics that you want. A lot of you out there anyway. Let's look at your career. In your career, you're playing the waiting game. A lot of you out there are going through some type of waiting period dealing with your career. 
So maybe there's a position that you're waiting for it to come open or if it's your business, maybe you're just waiting on the perfect time to make a move with your business. Okay, so just watch out for that. Now, let's look at what's going on with your friendships. You have the temptation card. Okay, so just a lot of you out there, just watch out for any of your friends who might be trying to tempt you with something. You know, whether it's partying all night, knowing you have to go to work the next day, or whether it's drugs, whether it's, you know, cheating on your lover, whatever. Watch out for temptations that will come from your friendships this month, Virgo. Let's keep moving on. Let's look at what's going on in your house 12. House 12 deals with secrets. It deals with spirituality. It can deal with manifesting your dreams. It can also deal with places of isolation. Okay. And it can also deal with hidden enemies. So for some of you Virgos out there, you might find out that you have a hidden enemy this month. And it will cause you a little bit of heartache because you will feel like you can't believe this person really feels that way towards you. Okay. So just remember, it's not personal. How someone feels about you is their problem, not yours. As long as they're not trying to hurt you. Now, let's look at what your message is for this month. You have the Ying Yang Lover card. So let me read a little bit about this card to you. Ying Yang Lover. Okay, let's see. Ying Yang Lover. It says the force of attraction is stronger than your conscious control. There is no need to fight. Don't step away from what you really love to grab hold of a second prize. Maybe that's related to your career. You're playing the waiting, the waiting game. It's better Sometimes it's better to wait on something you really want than to grab something that is just there because you know you can get it. Okay? So, related to your career, it's better to wait and also... Stay away from temptations this month. Now, let's see. Okay. Don't step away from what you really love to grab hold of a second prize. No one else can claim your prize. It is your birthright. You don't have to fight for what is already yours. It will come to you through the field of attraction. It is not a question of worthiness. It is not a question of trying to work out what you need or want. Your heart always knows. So listen. No, mat no matter whether you seem to be heading closer to your goal or further away, you are making real spiritual progress. And what you want is the same thing that is wanting you. What you are seeking is is seeking you. It's only a matter of time before you get it. Yin Yang Lover. That's your overall message for this month. Okay. So if you feel like there's something you want and you feel like maybe it's not coming fast enough, remember you have the patience and planning card. You have the waiting game. Okay. You have the yin-yang lover. This is all telling you to take it easy, wait on what you want, and don't be tempted by something that is just sitting there that's easy for you to access. Don't be tempted, okay? Have patience. Plan for the things you want. Even if you feel like you're playing the waiting game, it will be worth it. Okay, so that has been your reading for this month, Virgo, and please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And remember, you can always book a reading with me. 
visit metaphysicalmoonlighters.com and we can get that scheduled for you. This is a general reading for all Virgos. So if you want a specific reading just for you, just email me or visit my website. Now, until next month, Virgo, enjoy your month.